What's up everyone, Phoenix Master One here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon X and Y. So, let's go ahead and get, grab our mystery gift, which is a Tarchic with speed boost. So, receive gift, and, uh, yep, and get via internet. And let's get this gift, because many people have been saying in the comment section that I should get this. So yeah, I can get this and uh, this event is open till January 15, 2014. Yeah, you have like 3 months I believe. Yes, 3 months. So let's get this gift real quick, come on. Well, this can take some time. So we have a special Tarchic, yes, receive this gift please. And woo! Torchic. <laughs> oh wow. So okay. So let's quit now and let's receive our special torchic from Pokemon Center. Oh uh, yeah. And let's go there. And let's get in here. Okay, just talk to her and she'll give you your special Tarchic. Okay, so my party shouldn't be full. Okay, this is messed up. I should just send that thing to my PC. Uh, just put Jolteon in here for a moment. And uh, let's uh, get this Tarchic. Okay, what am I doing? Yeah. So we received a Torchic which has speed boost and uh, holds the Mega Stone Blaziken Knight which evolved Blaziken into Mega Blaziken. Mega Blaziken also has speed boost ability and uh, what do we have here? Calm nature, okay. So it comes with the Blaziken Knight, it is in a Cherish Ball. Okay, nice. And just put this Torchic in PC. It can rest there forever. And let's move our Jolteon in our team. Where's my Jolteon? Yes. So let's go to Route 13, which is a new new route. And in the last episode, we caught a new team member of my team, which was Launcher. And, uh, yeah, let's get there. So, we are in here, and, uh, you can find five types of Pokemon in here. You can find here Doctrio, you can find here Crapinch, you can find here Gibite, which is 10% rare. And if you have Rock Smash, and if you smash the rocks, you can even find Graveler, which is like 60%. And you can even find Slugma, which is like 30-40%, I don't know. So what do we have here? A G Gibite, well, no, Gibble. <laughs> Gibite is a wall form of uh, this. But let's go with our Rip Claws and go for that Surf. Hopefully not take it out. Okay, did quite a lot. Slash, oh geez. Between my Rip Claws is uh, seriously underleveled, so I need to train it a bit. Gibble, not Gibbite. Okay, we have it. I'm a very perfect help for catching it. Let's catch it with a great ball. Make sure you catch a Gibble here because it's quite rare here. Just like the Bagon. So let's use great ball. Where's my great ball? Nazi one. Yes. So let's go and cast this Gibble, and all the time I've been saying goodbye, goodbye, because before this I played a little bit of Enu, and goodbye was in my team. So we caught Gibble, this is nice, and we got some more XP. And Pokédex entry, okay, all that formality, Dragon. Ground type, which is weak to ice and uh, fairy, 
and takes neutral damage from grass type and water type attacks. So, okay, another Pokemon is coming. I hope it uh, it is uh, Trap Inch because Trap Inch is also uh, you can say it's pretty rare, not that rare. But uh, I'm gonna restore my Rip Claws first turn and uh, let's go. Come at me, bro. What do we have here? Better be a trap inch. Oh my god, a duck trio. These things are too much in here. Too much. Too many of them. Bulldoze, okay. It's clean to hit KO from Bulldoze, I believe. No, it's for hit KO. Okay. We go for Surf and some more experience for Rip Claws. Let's go for Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam does look kind of cool with the magnitude. All, all these uh, ground moves look the same, like magnitude, bulldoze, and even earthquake. But nice animation, <laughs> anyways. We got some more experience. Uh, let's move out of here. I'm gonna use my bicycle here because uh, can I grind with bicycle? No, I cannot. Uh, you will be needing the pass for this uh, thing. And here there is a very important item. There it is. Uh, I guess here. See, this thing is coming at me. Uh, come on. Mm, where, is, is, where is that item? Okay, what it is now? Better be a trap inch or something. Yes, trap inch. So we can go for that bubble beam and if we not knock it out and catch this thing without the fail. Okay, bite. Oh my god, it's biting. Okay. Bubble beam looks kind of cool. No, it's not a KO, so we can catch this with a great ball. So then we are done with the Pokemon in this area. You can always get those Rock Smash Pokemon later on. Yo, it was a critical capture. Nice. So you got Trap Inch. And Trap Inch evolves into Vibrava. No, that's not how you pronounce it. Vibrava, yeah. <laughs> and then it evolves into Flygon. Flygon is a really powerful Pokemon and a versatile Pokemon in uh, UU especially. So, yeah, so let's use Super Repel or Max Repel or whatever kind of Repel. What do we have here? We have... Max Repel. Yep, yep. Let's use it and, uh... Let's just continue on. What? It does not work! <laughs> oh, this thing sucks. Another Dog Trio, come on. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, there's a sunstone here, so we wanna get that. Oh, critical hit. That's, that's not good. Go for the surf. Okay, did not KO. Okay, I need to restore the claws, or it will die and not get any XP. Uh, let's use super potion. No, hyper potion. This hyper potion will work. So let's restore. And Rip Claws evolved into Clawitzer at uh, level 37. So, quite a lot of levels. And uh, let's go for the Bubble Beam and knock this thing out. For some reason, this thing has Swords Dance when it has two special moves and a Flail. It's just absolutely garbage. So. Knock this thing out. I wanna get there, please. Okay, Ricky grew to level 38. Okay, Ricky wants to learn hail. Uh, no. Because then my other team members will get hurt by hail, so I don't want such weather, which is disadvantageous. Okay, leave me alone, please. Come on. These things are not too much trap inch. We already caught one. Don't have arena trap. Okay, maybe I have to put my... Okay, this thing didn't have arena trap, so... 
Let's put a uh, homie in front because homie is a flying type and it can easily run away from these things. Yes. Come on. This is getting nowhere. We are here and uh, how do I get that Pokeball? Okay, I have to Rock Smash. Okay, I made my Charizard Char forget Rock Smash, so looks like I have to teach it again. <laughs> so, yeah, there's Rock Smash. Uh, where are you, Rock Smash? You have so many TMs, you can just see right now. Okay, here it is. Quite a lot of Pokemon learned it. Okay, Jolteon can learn it. Yeah. For a time being, we can teach this to Jolteon because Jolteon hasn't been learning any type of electric type move. We can replace this thing with quick attack. And we have Rock Smash here. It's just for time being because in later game, I don't think you find many rocks to smash. So let's smash this rock real quick. And this is not the stunts, uh, sunstone. Okay, better be a slugma or graveler. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those two. Okay, it's a graveler. I have my man homie. Let's go for the flame burst. Yes. Even uh, even it's resisted by this thing. Our homie is powerful, as, uh, powerful as hell. Smackdown. Okay. So now I lost my flying type ability, that's bad. Now let's catch this thing quickly with a great ball. Here we go. And then later on I can trade it with my friend and uh, evolve this thing into Golan. One, two, three. Easy peasy. Caught Graveler. Now only Slugma is left in this area to catch and we have caught every other Pokemon in this area. Which is nice, huh. and uh, we are on our way to complete Pokédex from the day one, and it's day three now. Let's go and grab our item. Wow, a burn heal! Come on, so much work only for a burn heal. Okay, this poor guy. Is in what? Where did? What is happening right now? Gibble, another Gibble. Okay, Gibble, I don't mean any disrespect to you, but I cannot fight you right now, buddy. So, let's get our sunstone and get hell out of here. Okay, we can go from here. Okay, what's happening? Yes. And uh, here we have a sunstone. Awesome. So you can evolve your Helioptide into Heliofisk, I believe, I don't know, I cannot pronounce it correctly, but that normal electric Pokemon, you can evolve this thing with uh, that Sunstone, so totally good for those. And if you have caught that uh, Oddish, then you could have evolved it into Gloom, and then you could have evolved into Blossom using the Sunstone, so but this guy has uh, Houndoom first. So I wanna send out my Rip Collage first and get some experience point because this thing is seriously underleveled. Uh, let's restore our HP. Which can we use? Hyper Potion for sure. Yep. Let's do this and we're about to take on this retard. Hey there, hipster. Yeah, win this with style, whatever. I'm gonna win winning this with my Pokemon. <laughs> you win this with style. Here we have Hound Doom. And here we have Rip Claws. Hound Doom is at quite a high level. 31. If we go for that surf, it's gonna be 2 hit KO. Beat up, okay. It's gonna be 2 times. So, Beat Up's power depends on how many Pokemon you have remaining in your party. This is an extremely monstrous move in VGCs because if you send out Weavile and Terrakian at once, then Weavile can use Beat Up because it has really high speed and Terrakian due to that justified ability, it gets its attack boosted by 4 stages. It's crazy, right? 
So Big Jump is really awesome attack if you use it in uh, VGCs. So let's uh, restore this Rip Clock because this thing is seriously under level. Come on. Oh, there's that. Okay. So this is how you use B Top. Really a uh, nice move to use in VGCs. Currently this guy has two Pokemon remaining, so it will hit two times. And this move can hit up to six times. Yes, this is the only move that can hit up to six times. Moves like Rock Blast, Icicle Spear hits like uh, five times at most, but this move hits six times. Okay, Cardelia, you to level 36, and now what do you have? Okay, Discharge, finally! An electric type move. Yes, yes, yes. We'll be replacing this thing with Swift. And there we have Discharge here. This is awesome. Golbat, I'm about to destroy you with my Jolteon. Jolteon has such high special attack. It's just amazing. It's such a dangerous Pokemon in OU. Not many things can outspeed this thing, except for Elokazam, I believe. Yeah. So for the discharge, let's look at the animation. Whoa, looks too powerful. And this Golbat cannot handle all of the epicness. So we defeated this guy, and let's go in. And uh, I, I just, uh, just suggest you guys to, I just suggest you guys to read what he says. And now I'll stylishly run away. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Fears my power plant pass. Oh, you retard! Did I drop my power plant pass somewhere? I know what to do. I'll make a stylish deduction. I must have robbed it when I was feeling around that bottle. Nine steps away from east. Okay. Okay. Not. You don't have to do anything. Just go in here. Click to this rock and you have your power plant class. What? <laughs> okay, I cannot say three P letters at once. Okay, no one can say it. Okay, I don't need to repel. Use less repel. Didn't even do anything. Uh, let's restore uh, our rip a little bit with that super potion. And then let's get in. This is like the secret base of Team Flare right now. They are all here. So let's go in here. And uh, wow, music is amazing. Amazing music. So let's go. Come on, someone challenge me, please. Someone? Yeah, come here. Yeah, back with me already. Stop saying things, yeah. Oh my god, these people say too much for their size. Scraggy, okay. You can, okay, this Scraggy has a, a high jump kick, but I have given my Rip Claws that thing. If you like, okay, you go for the payback, okay. Whoa, a critical hit go for that surf does nothing to this thing okay so I believe we should now go to uh, Jolteon maybe yep Jolteon can do the stuff but jo Jolteon is way too frail can go to Jolteon please don't go for the high jump kick yes this thing has high jump kick can go for the discharge and I will knock this thing out because it cannot live this discharge anyways. And this charge has 30% chance of paralyzing your opponent. So pretty nice. Okay, mud shot. Uh not sure if I wanna learn this thing or not. Is it a physical move? Yes, it's a physical move and uh no. It has too lower low base power. I don't wanna learn this. Nope. Yes. There we go. Krogunk, okay, so we can still handle this Krogunk pretty well. Without Cordelia, we can go for the discharge. Wet Sucker Punch. Okay, Sucker Punch is a priority move. 
and it can only hit if your opponent has chosen to hit you. So, if you predict a sucker punch from Pokemon like uh, Ductrio or uh, Krogong, Toxic Rogue, then you just want to use some move that does not attack your opponent. Yeah, you can even use this opportunity to set up a substitute. And these kinds of things uh, are pretty helpful in competitive battles, so let's go. Come on. Let's go in here and you'll find a guy who sells soda pop. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. And uh, you can find uh, an item here, zap plate, which we can give to Jolteon. And power that discharge up. There's that. Yes, let's give this Zapplate to our Jolteon. And there's this guy who sells like the soda pop for, I don't know, 300 Poké Dollars, I believe. Yes. Uh, restore our Rip Claws and just talk to this guy. We will buy some soda pops because every now and then we we'll, we will be uh, restoring rip claws so we got fresh water no okay it's not soda pop okay got some fresh water fresh water restores uh, 50 hp and let's get out of here there's another grunt here okay, hello yeah, I'm about to take you guys all by myself. Okay, how do how did these guys see with that glasses? Those odd looking glasses. It makes no sense, so I don't wanna stay in because I don't have any move to hit with because this cr uh, this Krogan might even have dry skin as his ability. So dry skin Pokemon are immune to any type of you know and immune to any type of water type moves and restore their HP when they're training and they're weak to sun and uh, they're weak to fire type moves okay it has an anticipation okay it's good oh my god this thing has sucker punch go for this confusion okay thank god it didn't go for the sucker punch easy one it KO and uh, what do we have here next Go bad, okay. Uh, Jolteon can destroy it. Or we can stay in with uh, Cordelia. Oh, wait a second, I wanna check something. Okay, never mind. Go for this confusion and maybe knock this thing out. I don't know. Maybe we can. Yes, it is. Okay, level 27. Nice. Hmm. Now I'm thinking that Ricky is gonna be evolving, so where's Ricky? Hello, Ricky. Ricky boy. Okay, only a thousand points away from getting evolved. So here I wanna save. I know this is not the smartest thing to do, but still I wanna save here. I wanna go on home menu. I'm gonna go into settings. Now you guys see I don't use an emulator for this. I have my 3DS capture card. Now I wanna go into other settings, date and time, and I wanna change today's time. And uh, okay, it's Monday right here now. We can set this to. This thing, uh, Ricky evolves into Aurora's in night time, so we have, let's make it night. Yep, it's night now. So this is how you evolve your Amora into Aurora's. It only evolves during night time and uh, Tyrant evolves during the daytime. So I wanted to do this and uh, let's go. How many minutes has been it? Okay. 24 minutes. Uh, hopefully we can just stay here for like 6 minutes more. And 
finish off everything. So let's go. There's about to guy that will come here. So let's put Ricky in front and Ricky can level up and evolve. Hello. Yeah, okay. He's battling already. Team player Grunt Mighty Yena, okay. Go Ricky. Just destroy this Mighty Yena. We have that takedown. And it will be a one if go. No, it is not? Okay. Yeah, my Tina has some decent buff. Wow, that did too much damage. Let's go for another takedown. What? Come on. He must be kidding me. This is too much. Okay, so what do we have? Cordelia. She cannot touch this thing with that confusion. And this thing is Quick Feet. Okay, Quick Feet is the hidden ability of my Tiana. Can go for this magical leaf. And knock this thing out. So hopefully Ricky evolves this turn. No, Ricky didn't. So we defeated this guy and let's go ahead. Man, Ricky has to evolve right now and uh, this man roared me out. Come on. Now I will have to restore Ricky again with that fresh water. And yes. So let's go ahead. Hello. And our Ricky will be evolving into Aurorus. I can't wait. Spraggy, okay, okay. Not the best type matchup ever. I can go into my Jolteon or I can go into Cordelia. No, but this thing has payback. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot. Don't go for the payback. Shed skin, yes. So shed skin is the ability if if your, if your Pokemon is affected with some sort of status. What just happened? Okay, leftovers. Yeah. So if your Pokemon is uh, affected with some sort of status move, it has the chances of healing itself in one or two turns. It may be even per three turns. So. Yeah, this is what Shed Skin does. Really useful ability for Pokemon like Rutini and uh, Scraggy. They can just uh, set up all over on you, and then we, when they're about to die, they can use uh, Rest and become healthy. Okay, Ruki was about to evolve. But what is happening right now? Leftovers animation is so cool. Gold by the okay seems like an easy prey for our Ruki. Go Ricky, get him. And hopefully Ricky evolves into Arborus this time. Pull back. Okay, we can go for Ancient Power. That's not gonna be doing anything. Go for this Ancient Power and uh, knock this thing out maybe. Oh. Okay, so I guess we can go for Rock Tomb. Confuser, come on, let me let me evolve, man. Come on, this is getting too much. Yes, Ricky did not get confused, and we knocked this thing out. Now maybe our Ricky can evolve if I set the time right. Please evolve, Ricky. Come on. Ricky, are you evolving? Yes, you are! Woo! So, our Ricky is finally evolving. The fossil Pokemon that everyone hated on. But, it's about to evolve now. Into... Into... Into Aurorus. Yeah. Aurorus is also rock ice type Pokemon. So, yeah. Woo! We have... A awesome Pokemon right here, Aurorus. Whoa. 
so let's see its stats now. And let's see if this thing can learn surf or not. No, it cannot. Okay. Launcher is here to learn the surf. And uh, woo! It has equal amount of special attack and attack. And lonely nature, yes. Looks amazing. Okay, so let's go ahead and battle a few more of these people. Okay, one more is here. Almost like 30 minute mark crossed. But it's okay for you guys if you guys enjoy this video. So let's go ahead and take on this guy. Yeah, whatever. Bull bat, okay. I have put my rip claws in front. We can go for the surf. And I believe uh this thing can learn ice beam, but we'll be finding ice beam I guess later in the game. It's okay, please don't get confused, rip claws. Yes. I don't know how many hits it will take to kill this thing. Okay, it will take a lot. Let's just switch into Ricky and see that man. Yeah, that big man. Woo. That uh, that type of flat near its ear is really amazing. Okay, swift. Nothing. Does nothing. So let's go for this ancient power and let's check if this thing kills now or not. Go for this ancient power. And it's a KO. Whoa. And uh, yeah, Cordelia grew to level 37 and Ultion to 38. Good. Mighty and uh, okay, okay. So I wanna switch out into. What do I wanna switch out? I can switch out into Jolteon. Yes. And Rip Claw is seriously underleveled. I need to do something. So here we have Mighty Yenna, and uh, we can go for this discharge and uh, hopefully bring this thing down and kill it. Okay, it was a one hit kill. Cool. Because we have given this thing Zaplit, so it increases the power of electric type moves. And Rip Claw grew to level 28. And let's go ahead now. I guess there are two people more left. Okay, this uh, this goal has swell out, I believe. Swell out and a repart. I don't know. Yeah, swell out. Only swell out, yes. And the next grunt has swell out and a repart. I know this. This Rip Claws cannot do anything to this fellow. This fellow is so bulky Pokemon. Bulky as hell. But it does have terrible uh, attacking and special attacking stat. Liquid is okay. What? You are toxicing me right now. That's bad. But Leftovers is here. And Toxic, toxic is a move which every Pokemon can learn, almost every Pokemon, and uh, Toxic can poison your opponent, and uh, the Toxic damage racks up every turn, so we can go for this confusion, okay, 2 hit KO, Amnesia, oh my god, this thing is setting up on me, that special defense, let's go for confusion again, I have 5 antidote, so it won't be a trouble. We can go for this confusion. Okay, so it kills. Nice. So, yeah, another ground finished. Why did they always fall on the ground? Come on. Team Plasma was much better. Uh, let's use Antidote on Cordelia because she's poisoned and it's just not the best thing. Let's use and uh, let's go ahead. 
Yes, this grunt has uh, Flip Art and Swellot. Yep, she has that. Leap Art is such a annoying Pokemon in a new metagame. They are even suspecting uh, on it and may ban it. It can learn the move Assist, so if you have a Pokemon in your party which knows Whirlwind, so you can use Assist and uh, due to that Prankster, it has plus one priority even though Whirlwind has minus six priority. So, Leap Art is a boss and uh, it's kind of a troll. So, Torment, okay. So, Torment is a move, uh, is a non attacking move. If you do that, then you cannot go for the same move again and again. Assurance, okay. I hope it does not do too much. Good half. Go for this bubble beat on its face and knock this thing out. Now, Leap Art is such an annoying Pokemon, it can learn all types of moves which annoy. The hell out of your opponent, Thunder Wave, Swagger, Assist, and all types of moves. So we can go to Cordelia right now. And again, we saw that it's a two hit KO of Confusion on a Swell Lot. So let's go for the Confusion. Okay, this thing has sticky hold. Let's go for Confusion, but I doubt that this thing has any item on it. Okay, do it go again. Have amnesia won't work for you, buddy. Confusion is still a two hit KO. Okay, so leftovers is healing up a little bit every turn. Go for this confusion and knock this thing out. Yes. Okay, Wade grew to level 42. Nice. Really nice. Okay, 37 minutes already. Man, this is gonna be a long episode. So, let's go. Maybe two or more, three people are left. I don't know. Yep, after this guy or girl, whatever she is, so uh, he is. It's a girl, yeah. Uh, we have two admins to take on. Okay, Kurogon, come. I can go for that flail though. That flail can do some damage to this thing. Did nothing. Swagger, okay, I have enough swag. Well, did you guys see cheek pouch the those cheek pouches of Krogunk Swole? Well, that's a nice animation, I must say. So let's switch into uh do we switch into Jolteon? Yes, Jolteon can take on this thing and kill it with the discharge. Okay, revenge. Okay, this thing has minus priority. Can go for the discharge and knock this thing out. That is why Jolteon is my favorite electric type Pokemon. Okay, Rip Claws grew to level 29. Nice. Scraggy, okay, okay, we can still kill this thing with Jolteon. Let's go for Discharge again. And we can kill this thing off right away, right away. Nice. Tricky grew to level 40, okay, nice. Leap hard, uh, leap hard, okay, so let's see, we can switch into Rip Claws right now. Yes, that's what we are gonna be doing right now. And, uh, Leap Heart comes in. Can go for that Surf. Okay, Assurance, I hope it, it does not kill. No, it does not. Can go for Surf. And then we can go for Flail if it does not go for a attacking move. Yes, yes, this thing worked now. This worked. Go for Flail and a little bit of more damage, I guess. Okay, Flail used to be a good move, I believe, on Magic Harp. <laughs> so we can switch into Cordelia. No, Cordelia cannot hit this thing. Yes, it can. 
but with Magic Leaf only, it has got plus one attack and plus one accuracy. Unburden, okay, what? This Leaf Heart does not have a uh, Prankster? Come on. So we can go for that Magical Leaf and knock this thing out. Yes. There we go. And I guess there's one more Pokemon left. Okay, 38 level. Nice. Learn some new moves, please. Okay. She does not. Homie grew to level 43. 39. Wow, we have been getting too much experience. And uh, yeah, so I believe this was the last grunt, and now two admins are left. And they both have a uh, Houndoom. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Please make sure to leave a like. And please answer the question of the day in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, so, bye guys.